Hello, nice to meet you. So you're my two o'clock appointment, wonderful. So what brings you here today? I'm looking at your face right now and I'm just, you know, sort of in shock that you're here because you, know, you have the type of face that people actually bring me photos of and, and want to actually look like. You have an incredibly, incredibly nice face. I don't think that you need me at all. I think that you are, are perfect just the way you are, but what is it that you are looking to achieve? Oh, perfection. The quest for perfection. Yes, well, you know, the, the Greeks and the Romans going back to 500 BC were obsessed with the uh, quest for perfection and physical beauty. Man has always been drawn to, to beauty and perfection. So I'll tell you a little bit about my approach. So I like to model my practice after Leonardo da Vinci. So he was extremely good at mapping out the human anatomy and he devised a system for dividing the face into thirds and there are exact measurements that you can take that according to him are the ideal facial proportions so there are many different sections of the face that I would be measuring and then we would look at those results and based on those results we would see if possibly a little tweak here or there could just make your face mathematically perfect but I'm telling you right now that looking at you you don't need anything in fact I would love to have some pictures of you taken before you leave because I'm doing a conference in San Francisco next week and I would love to be able to show some pictures of your face to the audience because you actually have the ideal features for a man in your age group. I would love to show them the ideal proportions. take those pictures before you leave but since you're here and you'd like to have this consultation I will do some measuring of your face for you and we can tell you what the findings reveal I can tell you right now though I don't think you're gonna need anything so we're gonna start off by dividing your face into thirds so the first part of your face that I'm gonna look at is from the top of your eyelid to your hairline. All right, so I'm gonna do some measuring of that. And then the next section, I'm going to look at the top of your eyelid to the bottom of your nose. So that's the midsection of the face. And then I'm gonna look from the bottom of your nose to your chin. And we'll measure your jawline the male jaw is supposed to be at like a 90 degree angle. So we will do that measurement. And then the lower jaw is actually divided into three, three other sections. All right, so I'm going to do my work in those three sections. So for this part, all you have to do is just sit back and relax. And then I will let you know what I find. All right. Okay, so let me get my measuring tape out here. How did you hear about us? Oh, all right. Yeah, we get a lot of business from, from Instagram. Get 
get in a little closer here. So I'm gonna first I'm gonna start off by measuring the distance from your lower eye, your upper eyelid to your hairline. Let me write that down. Okay. So now I'm going to measure the distance between your eyes. Okay. Very nice. Just as I expected. Do you have any plans for, for this upcoming week? Yeah, just hold still. All right. Good job. Right, that down. Oh, that should be fun. proportions are absolutely incredible. I'm definitely gonna have to get some photographs of you. You are like a work of art. This is going to really help my lecture a lot. I don't think I've seen a face this perfect before. Have you ever had any work done? You have to be careful. You don't want to have anything really extreme ever done because your bone structure is honestly about as close to perfect as you can get. All right, so now let me look at that bottom third. Okay, I'm measuring right now from the bottom of your nose to your jaw. Very good, very, 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 very good. You have a wonderful jaw. Okay, so then this part of the face we are going to divide to thirds as well. Let me measure your mouth, the length of your mouth. There's a ratio for the lips that it should be a one to two ratio where the, the top lip should just be a little less full than the bottom lip should be of a very nice proportions there actually. And the lips are supposed to represent 10% of the lower third of your face, which I am just, you know, in my naked eye, I am thinking that that is going to work out exactly as such. All right. Have you ever heard of the golden ratio? I want a number, roughly 1.6, and it often occurs in, in nature. And it's a formula that we can actually use to measure and quantify the sex appeal of the human face. So 
In order to find that, I would measure the length of your face by the width of your face, and then I would divide that, and the closer that number is to 1.6, So, according to this ratio, so just hold your face just completely naturally, just try to relax your brow, relax your jaw. Okay, perfect. I just want to get your face very, very relaxed. So, according to this ratio, the human face should be one and a half times longer than it is wide the most sex appeal. Alright, let me write that down. Almost done here, and then I'm gonna do my calculations. Okay, now let me just measure the width of your face, and then we are done here with this portion. Okay, wonderful. last number here and then let me get on my calculator and I'm just gonna enter in some of these numbers really quickly Absolute perfection should be 1.6. You're at 1.5. So that's about as mathematically perfect as a face can get. I think that's actually the most perfect face I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever gotten a 1.5 before. That's remarkable. That's really, really impressive. Um, the one the one area that was just a titch, titch off was the measurement of your jawline. So it was not a perfect 90 degree angle. So, I mean, that does not require surgery. I would not ever go under the knife if I were you. Your face is just far too close to perfect. But that's a little something if you were interested that we could fix with filler. Could just sharpen your jawline just a little bit. Right, right. It's so like right here. I'll just put a little bit of filler. Just create a more angular jawline for you. But that is obviously completely optional. You do not need it by any stretch of the imagination. But if that's something that you're interested in doing, we could do that today, have the time to do that right now. Okay, wonderful. So, let me just apply a little numbing cream to your face then, and you will not feel a thing, I promise. So this is the numbing cream. I'm gonna put this on your face, and it should sit on your face for about 20 minutes, and by that time you won't feel anything, or very, very little. Um, have you ever had filler before? Okay. No, I don't think you should get Botox. Honestly, in my personal opinion, I don't like doing 
doing Botox on men, I think that expression lines are actually very sexy. You know, a guy having some some lines in his forehead or like a little lines around his eyes when he smiles. I honestly find that to be very attractive. So I, I don't ever like to do Botox on men. I also find that it looks very feminine. If a guy has like too smooth and porcelain of a face, I just, I think it feminizes the face. So I'm just gonna put some gloves on and I'll rub this cream on your face for you. And then we will get started. So did you have to drive too far to get to this appointment? Oh, yeah, there's actually a good restaurant just down the street, if you're hungry. Um, it's called Porta Via. Yeah, it's an Italian restaurant. It's quite delicious. I definitely recommend that. And there's a lot of nice tables outdoors, and there's some great people watching. Fun to do a little people watching in this neck of the woods. You definitely see some some interesting characters. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna put a little of this just along your jawline. We don't need very much because we're not going to be doing very much for you today. <laughs> Mr. Perfect Face here. Did you ever do any any modeling or anything like that? No. If I were you, it's something I would look into. Yeah. Definitely have the look for it as well as the height. I right, just don't stop. I'm just going to go right along the jaw. It's a little bit cold, I'm sorry. <sighs> okay. Let's rub that in there. We got the other side. Along the jaw. Okay. Well. I'm honestly really glad that you came in today because <laughs> I can't wait to show off your pictures at my lecture. Show everyone what the absolute perfect face looks like. I might have to put your face on my brochures. You, you really are quite remarkably handsome. I'm not just, you know, trying to flatter you. Promise me that you are not going to go to any more plastic surgeons' offices because you do not want to mess with perfection. All right? Do not change this face. Okay, so... I've got the numbing cream on. So is there anything I can get for you while you're waiting? Would you like a magazine? Would you like some coffee? Would you like some tea, water, anything while you're waiting. Alright, well I will be back in 20 minutes as we will get started. Alright, well it's been very nice meeting.